is day one of my healing process. Um, you know. Searching for myself um, has been one of the journeys that has boosted me into become the person who I've been or who, who I've developed into and who you guys see me as now. Today we started the 45 day red wine commitment. Uh, it's only committing to yourself and the things that you do, nothing more, nothing less. And that's simply you take you taking care of home first, meaning your actual home that you live in, uh, your temple, meaning your body, and the things that you service. And so where I came up with this uh, idea, it started uh, two years ago. Um, I was working for the Family, Work Center, Family Workforce Center of America in St. Louis, and I was a job trainer slash life coach. Um, and so I just got the job and I was trying to basically have a breakthrough. I needed a breakthrough. And when I realized, when I thought back and seen the ways I've seen people have breakthroughs and what I grew up knowing um, can give you a breakthrough, which, you know, was fasting. And so um, in the sense where in 2015, I broke away from Christianity and just started searching for who God is for myself. And so God led me back to this personal journey. I was just getting out of a relationship. Uh, I didn't, financially, I was still dependent on my family. And so um, when I started this journey, I was finally getting on my feet, but I still wanted more and I needed a breakthrough. And so um, he gave me the text and the, the analogy of when Jesus was in the desert for 40 days, you know. And so I was like, well, you know, and then he said, man can't live by bread alone when uh, Satan, the devil, his internal person tempted himself to eat, but he was fasting because he wanted a breakthrough. And so I realized, okay, it's not a lot of things that tempt me to um, want to just indulge in it. You know, uh, liquor's cool, um, smoking's cool. Um, women are usually my downfall. You know, uh, and just be honest, in my past relationship, those are a majority of the reasons why they've ended. And, you know, and I'm in a healing process and uh, I apologize. You know, I've, I've apologized to them uh, in the past, but I apologize and I've grown from it. Uh, and I haven't allowed that to um, conquer me since I started doing those 45s. And so, uh, also in those 45s, I realized when I just started my media production company, Winehouse Creations, um, it wasn't getting the, the traction, it wasn't getting the support, um, and I, it was just starting off, but I felt like, you know, the work was adequate um, to at least get booked, and I mean, if you see the work people are doing now, and I'm just like, what I was doing at the early age of my career, I should have been getting booked out, the, but you can't, you know, you can't bank on that. And so I just realized I'm only going to support the people who support me because I was once again on the couch. Not this couch. This couch is way more lovely than uh, the couch I had before. It was a white couch. Uh, my mom had that. It's, it was probably 15 years old. She had it since we lived on Henderson on the south side. You feel me? Um, and so I just realized that is going to be how I get my breakthrough and not, and because once you, like some days you just, life just happens. Let's be real. Life happens and you just go day by day by day 
and me being in the industry that I was in, days would just fly by. I'll be here out doing this with this person, helping a brand, talking to this person, helping a brand grow, taking pictures here, doing video here, whatever. It was all betterment for somebody else's. But in return, I wasn't getting the same thing back, right? And so that drove me to a depression because my friends, my frat brothers, my family, my hometown, the town I was in, I wasn't getting the type of support that I needed to be successful. And so I focused my talents, my mind, my brain, everything, my willpower on me. The first time ever, the first time ever. The last time I focused on myself was seventh grade. And then we had the school merger and then it was a bigger uh, thought process just on decision making. Uh, trying to make a team, all these other things that you had to start figuring in. And so um, I just realized I can only care about the things that I can manage and I can take care of. And if, if I can, let's find a solution. That's why I don't even argue too much. It's just like, okay, what's the solution? How can we fix this? And so in those 45 days, I just started cultivating and being inspired and building and finding and researching ways of just being more successful so then in my first 45 i planned an art fashion show which you know people know it as flavors now one of the, i think is one of the best, biggest shows that st louis has ever seen one of the most dopest shows the world has ever seen um and so after that i just started manifesting things to start happening you know and i stopped wasting time and using my time more valuable to invest, I started traveling. So instead of going out all the time, because I started gaining weight. You know, if you're in a club, you gain weight because you're drinking, you eat the club food. But then I just started realizing that's not where I, that's not going to make me be more successful. I've already um, reached my limit, reached my ceiling doing that. And now it's just like I need to expand the brand. So I started traveling to Atlanta. I started traveling to Florida. Started going to Chicago even more. Uh, went to New York. Uh, shout out to Cartier. He helped us go there. Uh, Amber was there too. Her birthday was yesterday, I want to say. Shout out to her. She's definitely a big supporter. Um, so I just started putting myself around people who thought like me, but also started using my time more wisely. And that's, if you want to know, that's how I started making my own clothes, more clothing. I started making my own shoes, started making my own watches, because now I was focused on myself. And I'm seeing now, like, usually I'm always in some type of situationship or in some type of relationship. So my focus has to be more on them. And for the first time in my real life, like, you know, high school, I was, you know, in a relationship. Junior high, I was, you know, whatever. Um, and in college, I was in and out of different relationships or whatever that you want to call it. But... In after 25, my, after I became an OG, yeah, to, I would say like 26, um, that's when I ha decided that I need to, you know, live my life according to what I believe it is. Um, and so in these, these next 45 days, um, I'm going to use it as a healing process. Um, Heal from past hurt, past angers, past just everything because I think I, it's let it's holding me back, and I can't let the rest of my thirties um, be. I can't let it take care of my thirties. And so I urge you, whatever you want to use your forty-five for, it could be for anything, right? Um, now, what we these are the stipulations, though. Um, can't drink hard alcohol called red wine commitment for some reason um if you do it only could be on the weekends so you gotta and it's better that you choose one day out the weekend because it's you know i usually would do uh saturday's hard alcohol and then everything else would be back um regular red wine but you know that's what you gotta it's a conditioning thing a mind stimulating thing that you have to do that so you can connect with your higher self um and that universal intelligence um also Incorporate reading, meditating, somewhere, praying, whatever you want to call it. Incorporate that in your diet, like your routine or diet, whatever you want to call it. It has to become normal in these 45 days. 
uh, to pro progress you forward. And that's what this is all about, progressing you forward. You always want to be progressing forward because it's an opportunity right there. You know, uh, you just have to be ready and, and willing to go through whatever you have to go through for that opportunity. Some things are easy, some things are hard, but, you know, it has to get done. And so in these 45 days, find who you are. You know, if you have to do some crying, some repenting, some forgiving, some accepting, some calling some people just to um, allow yourself to tell them why you are choosing to heal and, you know, choosing to say these things to them so you can finally heal. Um, now, when in your delivery, please uh, try to manage yourself, you know, maintain um, a certain humbleness about yourself so you can reach that next level. Um, because fixing something out of the past can propel you forward. And um, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, stay, you know, stay prayed up, you know, with this corona going on. It's a lot of people just passing away. I want to give a, um, send my condolences to uh, Rance Allen and his family. Um, that's somebody I definitely grew up on. And um, everybody else losing people in their lives. It's, it's really crazy. And so wear your mask, uh, be God, be love, find you, be you, and love you, and just keep on living. We doing it.